Welcome to chapter four, lesson three. In this lesson, we are going to be working on dividing by a two-digit divisor. Example one says that the yearbook committee took 836 photos with a digital camera over 76 days. If they took an equal amount of photos each day, how many photos did they take each day? So we can start off by estimating 800 divided by 80. We get those two numbers by rounding our divisor and our dividend. 800 divided by 80 is 10. So we know that our answer should be somewhat close to 10. Alrighty. Step one is to divide the tens place. Since we have a two digit divisor, we have to start in the tens place because we know that 76 cannot go into eight. If you like to, you can still write your zero and your X above there. So 83 divided by six is approximately one. So it goes in there one time. We're going to subtract 76. And we can borrow 13 minus 6 is 7. And then we bring down our 6. 76 goes into 76 one time. So we have 76 minus 76 equals 0. Okay. And you can see there are steps 1, 2, 3, and 4 to help you through these problems. Go ahead and use those on the independent practice problems later today if you need them. So 836 divided by 76 equals 11. Since P equals 11, that means the yearbook committee will take 11 photos each day. And our last, last step is to check for reasonableness. 10 is equal, well approximately equal to 11, so we know that our answer is reasonable and it makes sense. Our final answer for this problem would be 11 photos each day. There we go, 11 photos each day. Circle your final answer. All right, let's move on to example two. Example two says find 751 divided by 30. So first is to estimate. So we need a number that is compatible with 30 that we can round 752. Or 751. So that we rounded there, we left 30 how it is. If you cross off your zeros, you know that 75 divided by 3 equals 25. So our answer should be somewhat close to 25. All right, so 751 divided by 30. Step 1 is to divide the tenths. So 75 divided by 30 is approximately 2. 30 times 2 is 60. So we have 75 minus 60. We're left with 15. Bring down our 1, 151. 15 is less than 30, so we brought down our 1, and now we need to divide 151 divided by 30. Well, that equals approximately 5. 5 times 30 is 150. When we subtract, we get a remainder of 1. So 751 divided by 30 is 25, remainder 1. So we can check for reasonable witness that 25 is approximately equal to 25 remainder 1. You could also use multiplication to check your answer. Just depends if you estimate at the beginning or not. Our final answer is 25 remainder 1 or 25 and 1 out of 30. Okay, let's move on to guided practice number 1. We have 176 divided by 16. 16 is not going to 1, so we can move right over to the tens place. It goes into 17 one time. 17 minus 16 is 1. Bring down our 6. 16 divided by 16 is 1. Subtract, and we're left with 0. Now in this answer, or in this example, we did not estimate at the beginning, so that means we can check our answer with multiplication. 16 times 11, we get 16, 16. 176, that's what we started with, so we did our problem correctly. All right, last guided example practice that we'll do together. 809 divided by 62. 62 goes into 80 one time. Borrow, we're left with 18. We have to bring down our 9, so we have 189. 62 goes into 189 approximately two times. 
If you're not sure, you could go ahead and do 62 times 2 over here on the side of scratch work. That would be acceptable to help you determine how many times it goes into 189. Or you can use estimating and rounding. So we subtract 124. And we're left with 65, which means that we made a mistake. If this happens to you, that is okay. You'll just have to rework your problem. So we know that we made a mistake because we are left with, we can't have a remainder of 65 because we only are dividing in groups of 62. So if you make a mistake like that, it's no big deal. We just can rework the problem. If you do 809 divided by 62, so let's start over. It goes in there one time, minus 62. And we know that we were left with 18, and we bring down our 9. Now last time, 2 was not enough. So let's move on to 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 6 is 18. 186 is much closer. It looks like we did a better job this time. So it goes in there 3 times, minus 186, and that equals 3. So we have 13 remainder 3. Okay? We know that this problem is we're more likely to have it correct because our remainder is not bigger than our divisor. So let's check with multiplication. We have 13 times 62. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2. Placeholder. 6 times 3 is 18. Carry. 6 times 1 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. When we add them together. We get 806. Plus, we have to add in our remainder of 3, which gets us to 809. Looks like we did the problem correctly, so our final answer is 13, remainder 3, or 13 and 3 out of 62. All right, so once again, if you make a mistake like that, it's not a big deal. All you have to do is rework the problem, so don't panic. Don't get frustrated. Catch your mistake by realizing that that doesn't make sense to have a remainder of 65 and rework your problem. For independent practice, I would like you to do 3, 4, 5, and 6. Show your work, check your answer with multiplication, and then we will check them tomorrow in class.